How's it going, guys? Soma here again. At, uh, at E3, it's actually almost the end of the day, the first day. It's kind of crazy. I know it's sad, but we do have one badass thing that will lift your spirits. We have Battleborn here, a game that I can't wait to play. I have these three lovely young men. I have the best-dressed guy in the entire freaking building right here. Dude, I've been waiting to say that out loud. <laughs> oh, my You God. look amazing. Can you show your feet? Oh, whoa. Okay. Those are awesome. You want to see these shoes? Look at that. Look at your socks. So I can't take any credit. My wife dresses me. So this is all, you know. I, you look beautiful. If it wasn't for her, I'd be wearing shorts and video game t-shirts from conventions <laughs> like E3. Hell it's yeah. absolutely true. <laughs> this, hey, this shirt, by the way. This, um, so this is Robert Graham. And this is actually, border. the shirt is called Borderlands. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, wow. yeah. Really? And there's, there's a female version of the shirt that Robert Graham made, and it's called Siren. Wow. I am oh, not wow. shitting you. Wow. And it just came out this week. I'm dead serious. You Band can go confirms. onto the Robert Graham website and you can buy it's pretty cra it's expensive. It's like four hundred bucks, but Robert <laughs> Dude, yeah, Robert namesake right kills there. it. Yeah. yeah, Robert is Swifter. I can't believe, we got Swifter and Spam. Man, we're not we're done talking about your clothes, man. I know you're <laughs> excited about your fashion and it's awesome, but we have more important things to talk about. Borderlands, bro. Swifter spam, what's up? Let's see what, guys. Excited to see some Battleborn. This game looks really, really good fun. I, I Thank you. I um, got a chance to play it um, when you invited that's me right, back. That's yeah, right. I had, yeah. I had a blast. Which character did you play? A ton of them. We had a yeah. chance. Oh, yeah, you guys kept playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like the chick with the four hands. My, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. We, should, we should see some footage before that gets misinterpreted. Oh. That's, that's, that's Who it. are you? What do you do? I'm Randy Pitchford. I'm the president of Gearbox Software. And uh, pretty much I'm, I'm the most accountable person for everything horrible we do at Gearbox Software. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. So if you think yeah. we fucked up somewhere, you will invariably blame me for it. Uh, that tends to be what happens. But we're no trying. Pressure. We're trying. We're you know. We always just. We like to entertain people. We like making games that we think are fun, yeah. and we hope people like what we do. And we've been killing ourselves on this this crazy idea we have with with Battleborn, and we hope we hope people like it. Well, please walk us through what we're watching here. I so, mean, a lot of people are just now maybe seeing this for the first time. Yeah, I haven't gotten, so even gotten to play yet. So. This is this is actually uh, gameplay footage right now of of uh, what people are playing here at E3. This is this oh, is wow. real playable content here at E3. Um, you know, Battleborn is uh, this crazy new new premise that we've come up with. It takes place. Uh, at the end of all time and space, so you can imagine, like some at some point, our star will blow up. Sure. The sun will blow up, supernova. It's gone. Mm. All the other stars at some point will be gone. There's going to be a point when the entire universe is cold and dark and everything's dead and it's horrible. It's called the heat death. Before that moment, there's going to be one star left. There's going to be a point in time when there's just one star left in the universe. And you can imagine that every species that ever exists that has the capability of traveling the stars will arrive at that last star. They're going to go to that last star. And of course, they're all going to have different opinions about what to do. Some will want to protect the star. Don't touch it. It's, you know, we need to save it. Some will want to, oh, we need to study it and get in there and, and figure out how it works. Maybe we can create new stars or maybe we can make this one last forever. Um, or, or some people will have like a religious feeling. No, I can't wait for it to end too because once once this last star collapses and it's all over, then we can all go to the great beyond or whatever, wow. you know, crazy bullshit they believe in. And, and they're all yeah, going to yeah, disagree yeah. and they're all going to, and the stakes are like the end of the universe. So they're all right. going to be really motivated to be right and they're all going to kill each other. You just blew my mind. I didn't know that was the story. That is the story. That is sick. It's, it's, and so yeah. we, we, we I wanted to imagine a universe where it, you can imagine all the different kinds of species out there and it might make sense to have in one game uh, like a, a, a classic space marine, like a Master Chief kind of guy. Sure, that's yeah. that's Oscar Mike. He's in the same game as this samurai space vampire. That's Wrath with the, with the three swords or, or the elven archer. This is, we're looking at uh, through, through Thorne's point of view right now. We wanted all, every arch type we've ever played in a video game and we've ever wanted to play, we wanted them all in one game, all battling with each other and against each other. And that's the that's the universe that we've created that, that allows so that. Cool. It's one of the most compelling sales pitches for a game I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> I, <am laughs> I was just going to say, totally sold. That's, just, that's just the fiction. I uh, you haven't heard the sales pitch I yet. I am totally sold. <laughs> you said space and time. He's like, like oh. space and time and the end of the universe and everyone's coalescing on this one star that's left. I'm like, oh well, man, I want to go to there. You know, and, you know what's weird? When we first announced the game, we showed the PvP mode because we, you know, we're really investing in a competitive gameplay with this because we haven't done that in a while and it's so much fun for us. But, but uh, with What's awesome about the fiction is, you know, there's actually a deep story mode to it. This we have a huge campaign. You can play it by yourself 
or you can play it cooperatively. You know how much we love co-op games in Borderlands, right? Sure. Um, and so we've really doubled down on that. So you can play solo, you can play cooperatively, and you play through all these uh, chapters uh, that all kind of fit together in this in this epic in this epic story in this universe that we've created. This is awesome. So do you think people will like uh, you know tend towards one character they'll play a lot or they'll experiment more? Do you, what do you, how do you see? I think it depends. You know, some of us some of us are snack boxers. You know, where we just kind of like I want to try that guy. Okay, I'm gonna try this guy next. I'm gonna try this guy next. Yeah. I'm gonna try this guy next. And there's other people that just like okay, I'm gonna just hone in on this one guy and I'm gonna get so freaking good at playing this one character. And there's you know because the helix system allows as you level up in the scenario, you can choose this skill or that skill, and all those combinations can lead to a lot of different builds. And mastering which builds you want to take depending on who's on the enemy team and how they're building and what their strategies are. Also, in between games, you'll win loot and gear. And we you know you know how much we love loot and gear, right? Oh, Borderlands. So, Your so box. Yeah. yeah, all the golden keys. Give me all the golden keys. <laughs> oh, I, yo, I, I can't really talk about it yet, but we got big plans for shift. Oh, and for and I, you know I'm you know I'm going to be all over my my Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I'm still gone. I'm still tweeting uh, golden keys. Uh, for I Borderlands. still take them all. I've got I think 120 golden <laughs> keys. That's where they're all going. <laughs> man. I, 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 I hold them. What? I hold them. You don't know, tell them that. When I, when I tweet codes, it's first come, first serve. So what you're doing by hoarding them is you're denying other people. Oh, made me feel bad. Sam knows this. Wow. He doesn't care. <laughs> wow, they are man. my keys. But they are my guns. I, I don't intend to stop anytime soon. So if you, if you if you follow <laughs> me on Twitter, you, I'm sure I'll. In fact, this weekend I'll probably tweet a bunch of uh, uh, more golden go. keys oh, for awesome. for both Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre sequel. Awesome. Um, my Twitter is at Duval Magic. I know you follow me. A hundred percent. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that the, is that the Into vampire? battle. No, this that's is, her. That's, that's her. Arendi. She's a yeah. witch, and she's freaking the, awesome. The full hand. So she uses yeah. like dark magic and shit, and she's got like this. Uh, she can make this column of dark energy. That's just. I love her ability to do AOE and to do a lot of. She does a lot of throughput. I kind of play her like an assassin. Um, she's she's a lot of fun. Super chaotic. Um, I'm, I'm digging Arendi. Uh, but there's a lot of. I mean. I, I'm kind of a person that'll sample characters before I figure out which one is is for me, and, and so I've been I've been playing around with. But I I, I tend to get back to Randy because I like doing damage. So you said you said you play as an assassin, yeah. And but you also mentioned earlier that you can actually choose your skills and you can actually yes. load out different builds in That's your right. games. Can you play her as like a tank or support? Is it? Is, um, is yeah, there a lot there, of there's some support stuff with her. Uh, she's she, it's hard to get her tanky, um, but you know, you, you, depending on the guild, the, the gear that you get, you can do it. But um, I, I, if you want to go tanky, I would recommend Montana. Uh, that guy's like, I mean, he's freaking massive. He's, you know, he's like you could set. I'm, I'm 6'2". You can put two more of me on top of me, and it's probably about how tall Montana is. 18 and, and, and he's got a minigun. He's just buff. <laughs> uh, the other cool thing is um, he, he wants to soak up the damage. He actually gets benefits when he soaks up damage, and he can keep it from other people. So he's a good tank character. There's a number of good tanks. I think Caldarius has a lot of survivability. He's pretty nimble. He's kind of like a Gundam. So he has that, you know, like what do you expect a Gundam to do? To have that side jet. You could auction but off bulls, by the way. <laughs> you know that? This guy could auction off farm animals. How do you do <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something right now. We have yeah, Battleborn yeah. right here, and it's freaking awesome. And let me tell you, we got Arendi. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a, that's a skill. That's badass. Keep I, going. You know, I'm listening. I do, I do live in Dallas. It's just a short. I'm listening, I, man. I, I knew, you found my new calling. I'm going to go to Fort Worth. We're going to go to the the, the, up, the rodeo, and we're going to sell that pig, baby. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to shit. We're going to get that pig sold. <laughs> All right. Keep talking. I'm listening, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know. What do you, what do you want to talk about? It's your show. Tell me. Tell me what your favorite uh, your favorite compilation uh, is for a team. Oh, who do you think, okay. Who do you think owns? So you know when you're playing cooperatively or you're playing in a competitive match, team composition does matter. I think it's always good to have a, at least one healer on the team. I like Miko right now. He's like this mushroom guy and he can take his head off. It's like a mushroom cap. He, he like, I, I say he. It's not. I don't think Miko has a gender. I think I think he can just sort of reproduce himself. I, I, he has sex with himself. I don't know how it works. Asexuality, but he, baby. It's not, he has no gender, but he can take his head off and throw it into the world and, and you can build him in a way that where that becomes a healing sphere and you can do a lot of healing. He's got throughput. He can throw out these canine and stuff, these little, these little knives. But um, but he's a, he's a good support class. Um, I love Thorn um, because she's hyper agile. She's super maneuverable. maneuverable. Um, but if 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 you want to um, also have more throughput than Thorn has, because she's kind of a precision character with her uh, um, with her bow, I think uh, Phoebe is another good uh, cast. That's, that's actually Phoebe on screen right now with the swords that just cool. swirl around. And she has a teleport, so she's she got, uses that for maneuverability. She can actually blink uh, short distances. And she's so using you, a rapier too. Yeah, she, she really? can conjure these magical swords. She's really right. You want at least one tank. Montana's strong. Um, Cal is strong. There's a couple of tanks. 
topics we haven't announced yet that that, that uh, I think are actually going to. Right now, they're kind of the current meta. They're not. We're you know. I I, I don't want to tease with stuff. You want to do a lot of characters. E3, you want to do a lot of characters. How many? Yeah. Well, like you want to spread. There's five per team, right? Right. So um, I think I think one good uh, tank that's defensive that can absorb the damage. Oh. A maneuvering character. You need a couple of guys for throughput and one one for um uh, one for support and for healing and 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 um, oh you know. Who oh, I meant I meant how many different characters in the game. Oh, how you, many? You, were, you guys were ambitious. I remember seeing yes. this like you know you want to do like X number. I was like wow. How many characters? Guys. So we're I don't know why we went this freaking bonkers. You know so when we shipped Borderlands we had we had four characters. Right. And then we added two more to the to the Borderlands games as DLC. Right. And I think the publisher priced those at like ten bucks a piece. And in each character in Battleborn. Uh, we've, we've actually invested about four times as much per character, and I'm talking across the board. Four times the fidelity in their their, their models because it's next gen. Uh, the animation, the voice, uh, the voiceover, the lines, the way they can communicate with others, like every aspect is about four x the investment. Um, we're shipping with 25 characters. Wow. Man. We're putting 25 uh, at day day zero with launch of the game. Wow. Um, and there there's 10 playable right now at E3, um, and it's uh, it's it, I I I'm terrified. Because the amount of work involved <laughs> and the amount of complexity with managing, because they're not just, they don't just have their normal lines like, hey, I did something cool. They actually have conversations oh, cool. with the other characters, that, that's different, awesome. con different combinations. Awesome. Like, there's different relationships between the characters, and when you when certain matchup happens, they, 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 they talk with each other. It's, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is wow. very impressive. It's so cool. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, what else do you guys want to talk about? I want to know, okay, so really quick, everyone's, you know, got a, a hard nerd on right now. <laughs> Where can they, like, website, Twitter, let's get the social stuff off. Okay, um, I think there's a website, right? Um, it's Battle... What? Is it, is it battle, <laughs> Battleborn.com? <laughs> It's just battleborn.com. Okay. We got battleborn.com. It's okay. not like battleborn game. <laughs> <laughs> that's Holy shit. That's Great awesome. Domain. There yeah, we go. Yes. Go team. Okay, so we got battleborn.com. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure there's a Twitter you can search for probably I just search Battleborn. for battleborn. You'll find battleborn, it. Yeah. If you follow Gearbox or you follow me, I retweet the that stuff all Pimp the time. Pimp yourself too. What's that? Pimp yourself out. Um, I'm I'm at Duval Magic. Follow this man's uh, Twitter. Yeah, I give away Gold stuff keys. all the time. Yeah, my wife gives away games. <laughs> you should follow really? her actually. If you want to, if you want to just get value out of following, follow Chris. Although she's a Nazi about um, if you are not cool, if you if you hassle other people, or if you're a jerk, she will just block the living shit out. Oh of yeah, you. screw Bam. those people. Yeah. Like, no tolerance. Yeah. Like if you're if you're a troll, boom, you're gone. Nasty. Uh, her Twitter is at Christage. Uh, but she gives away games all the time. She'll get just Steam codes for games and just say, hey, friends. And she's got, it's a small group that she, she people she really likes that, that she has interactions with. I've got, like, a bunch of people that follow me, and half of them just want my head on a stick. <laughs> you know, because it's some change we made in Borderlands right. or something. Yeah. And it's like, all right, dude, come on. We're supporting the game. That means we're going to update things and try stuff. And <laughs> so if you had to say there was, like, one thing, the pinnacle of your excitement... For Battleborn. The pinnacle. Like the freaking like oh. that shit is crazy. I'll tell you what the thing it? I'm most what proud of. Um, you know, Borderlands was really successful for us, and so we we were able to invest uh, so we can actually do a good job at a full featured game. When I say full featured, you know, Borderlands doesn't have a real competitive mode. Yeah, you can duel people, but there's no real competitive Dueling mode. Dueling was fun. And I love, like, yeah. you know, our roots are, you know, we worked on Counter-Strike. We were the people that wrote the network code that allowed Halo to be played on the internet for the first time. You know, so we, we love, that's like in our roots when we did all the Half-Life stuff. You know, we did Half-Life, half Capture the Flag and all that. Um, and that, that's part of our roots. And to be able to, to invest in doing a full featured game that not only has a solo campaign uh, story mode... A, a cooperative story mode that's the same story mode. It's not like you have a separate mode for co-op as you right. do for single player, but also to have a full featured competitive game. And we're playing competitive matches every day at Gearbox. Uh, soon wow. we're going to, uh, at some point we'll announce or hopefully announce a beta. Um, I, I do, because we need, I mean, can you imagine the balance nightmare this freaking that, game that's is? That's me insane. Mm. I, I, not, I, I, that yeah, I can't imagine. I it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know, and so we're suffering through that. Oh, I mean, we're having a lot of fun, but th it's tough. You know, you make a little decision here and it has such a dramatic effect on the oh. overall meta. And um, but but to get to, to go through that with ourselves internally with our focus testers uh, and then eventually with the beta test and then eventually go live. It's going to be really really cool to to see if we can actually get 
um, a, a true competitive platform with this, and it's been a while since we worked on one. So that that's something I'm really proud of is that it's a full featured game. And we're not just being safe with the thing that everybody trusts us for, which is the story mode and the campaign and the cooperative stuff that we do in Borderlands. We're, we're kind of getting out of our comfort zone a little bit and, and trying something we really and, love. And the humor is going to stay. It's one of my favorite things about the Borderlands games. It's oh, the humor dude. and the Aaron, references. So, and so Aaron Lindy is writing this game, and that dude is... I mean, he's fucking hilarious. It's spot on. He's, like, he yeah. is, not, and he's, and of course, you know, everybody's throwing jokes in from the from yeah. the from the creative team. We're having a lot of fun with it. I can't wait. And it's <laughs> Taylor Swift's tip. I don't want to spoil this anything. This is the most adorable thing about, I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, you, you guys are gonna like. There's some good stuff. Oh god, I no, can't wait. Some, Why don't you spoil some, something, man? Some Tell us wrong. a secret. <laughs> Tell us a secret. No, Come on. no, I don't. I don't want to. You're get in charge. Trouble. I don't want. Yeah, you're the whole boss. Yeah, you're the you're the boss. You know, but what happens is they're gonna revolt. I say stuff out of order and then the you know i'm, I'm that's what we're hoping I'm messing for up things for the pr team and those guys work so hard and the marketing people over. and look did you see the booth oh the booth is like yeah, it's the crazy. last thing i want to yeah. do is like make the the people at the publisher nervous about me right now because <laughs> like those guys are really getting behind the game they, they i've are. never we have the stairs and the, the freaking banner yeah, outside yeah, you, like the borderlands booth wasn't anywhere near as awesome as the freaking statue with montana the, the size of the roof yeah. uh, like oh, holy so crap cool. and and I, so I, I i i apologize you know i just don't want to i don't these guys are so behind us right now i just want them to feel so great about everything and uh, i love i love working with 2k because they they really they're not afraid to take some creative risk because they know that's actually the biggest risk is to not not try these things. You know, right, to, right, you, you right, actually yeah. want to put new things out there and, and 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 push yourself creatively. And they really get it, and they they encourage us and support us all the way. That's fantastic, dude. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us. Oh, so happy to be here. Thanks it's for so bringing cool. your shirt. <laughs> it's I an awesome shirt. It. I, really I, really I, I want to like take it, it off. Yeah, right now. Well, my shirt and I are going uh, <laughs> to, we'll, we'll do some other things tonight. <laughs> yeah, good. Maybe good. we'll see each other later. I hope you do. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, uh, we have a wrap-up show coming up here in just a second. I can't believe day one is already over. We are Day zero has gone. Day one has gone. If, I, if I'm doing my math right, we have day two tomorrow. So that should be really cool. Yeah, more video games. What do you know? So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys hit the follow button. Uh, keep it locked here, though, because we do have the wrap-up show brought to you by Taco Bell. So keep it locked right here. Battleborn is the shit. See you guys in just a second.